that was a rough one. I got to admit, that was a very, very rough game for the Toronto Raptors. I mean, they they played a pretty they played a pretty solid first half, and they just threw it all away in the second half. I mean, they were up eleven after well the first half. I mean, they were doing fine. Up eight after the first uh, quarter. Uh, like I said, up 11 after the first half. You were plus 8 in the first quarter, plus 3 in the second quarter. You're doing fine. You hold them to 18 and 22 points. You're doing a great job. Third quarter, you give up 37 points. In the fourth quarter, you give up 30. You score 24 and 15. A few things that led up to this. The Raptors could not shoot the 3 today. 5 of 23 for 22%. They missed. I think at one point it was like 0 of 8. or 0 of It was some crazy number from 3 in that second half. It looked really, really bad. And, I mean, Indiana shot 48% from 3. So, it's going to hurt you because they over they doubled your 3. They had 12. You had 5. Yeah, it's a lot different. It's a big difference. And the Raptors hurt defensively, but they were really sluggish. The ball was not moving at all. I mean, that's what, we, that's what we've been saying. The Raptors have to keep the assists going. They have to they keep the ball moving. They only had 11, 11 assists in this game to their 25 a couple nights ago. And another factor to this was they were not knocking down their wide open shots. They had plenty of great looks. They just couldn't hit them. Now, I mean, Patrick Patterson had an ab- abysmal night. You know, he only had two points, two boards, but he was one of six and missed all four threes he took. You know, Sur- Serge missed all six he took. Corey Joseph and DeMar missed both. Uh, they had two two each. They missed all of those. It's just they were not good. And they were decent looks too, but the Raptors could not cash in at all. And uh, it was a rough, rough game. But something I want to talk about, and it really frustrated me. It pro- if for anybody who watched the last 10 seconds of the game, you would have known that the Raptors were down 15 points. They were, you know, way out of it. And Lance Stevenson decided to come and lay it up for two points. DeMar, Corey J- or not Corey, DeMar, PJ Tucker, Damari Carroll did not like it one bit. Got all up in his face. And I don't blame them. I don't blame them one bit. No, I understand, Lance Stevenson, that you have been having a ridiculously garbage year. You have, you know, bounced around teams. You have not been able to find a home since you left Indiana. But what was the need for that? Is it just to pad your stats and make you look better? I mean, you're already at twelve. Po- you're already at ten points at the time. So it's not like you were going for double digits. But even that's a t- stupid excuse. You're up fifteen with three seconds left. Why are you doing that? That is a shot in the gut to the Toronto Raptors and to really, you know, anybody who plays the game fairly. Normally, you see them just dribble it out, clock go out, yeah, dab, shake hands, do that kind of stuff, and then go home. But that was unnecessary. That was garbage. That should not have happened. That is a Bush League garbage move. I needed that. After the way the Raptors played in the second half, I mean, I really needed that. But that just added to the fire. It was just like, what is this? What what was in processing? And then he doesn't even look at Carol and Demar, who are just right in his ear, just giving. It to him. He's just like stare. Demar and uh, and PJ right in the ear. He's just looking straight ahead, like, yep, yep, mm-hmm. you guys aren't here, and he starts going towards the bench. You gotta own up to your stuff, bud. You do that. You gotta you gotta be ready for it. You're not expecting no one to, to be around and protect his team. No, that's gonna happen. But enough about that. Alright, I had to do that because it was just a stupid thing. Nonetheless, the Raptors do not play well, and they lose 108-90. I mean, that's the final. It was it was a few seconds left and all that kerfuffle was going on. I just had to come here and just 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 do it. Because ah, Oh my goodness. But you're going to have these games. We know with Kyle, the, the three is not going to be a consistent thing. You know, another thing that I didn't like for the Raptors is that they, you know, the turnovers late in the game, they didn't really show any fight late in the game. 
They had a couple possessions where they looked good, and then a couple turnovers leading to points, and pretty much there it goes right there. You know, the Raptors did not look good in that second half. That's plain and simple. On the offensive floor, they looked atrocious. Like I said, only scoring 24 points and 15 points, you're not going to win games like that. And when they score 37 and 31, you know, really, it's going to be tough to win when you're playing like that in the second half. Arguably, some shots that uh, Indiana did take were tough shots that they were making, but when when your offense is cooking, when it's rolling, I mean, stuff goes in that you don't expect it to go in. When the Raptors' offense was cooking against them, when we were shooting 50% from three, everything was going in because they were cooking. But the Raptors just didn't have any answer in that second half at all. I thought there may be some pushback that the Raptors would have given them. Really never came. You know, but good news on the Lowry front is obviously he uh, participated in a little bit of practice today. or Was it today or yesterday? Something like that. He, you know, that that's, that's great news. I'm sorry. That's uh, fantastic news. Uh, looks like he's going to be coming back for the playoffs. But again, we can't focus on that right now. If we get the news that he'll be making it and, and come back for a game, which I doubt, great. But we got to worry about the team we have right this second. And they played half a game in this one. I think you guys could agree with me on that. And you can't play like that when it comes to playoff time. Indiana might be a team you face in the first round again. If you stay in third, if it happens, I'm not sure. If you do stay in third and they find a way to climb to six, you're facing them again in the first round. You could be facing Chicago in the first round. You could be facing Milwaukee, who's been playing great. You could play Miami, who's given the Raptors trouble at times. You're not going to get... The East is not a pushover conference anymore. So you're going to get a tough team in that first round. And it could be that team you face tonight. And if you play anything like that in the postseason, it's going to be rough. But you know what, guys? That is going to do it for this mess. If you liked the video, hit that like button. I do appreciate that. Hit the subscribe button. If you guys have not... Uh, have, I usually get that, but there's uh, the odd time I talk too quick. And it's blah, 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 blah. Hit that subscribe button if you guys have not already. There we go. Comment down below what you guys thought of this one. What went wrong in that second half? Did they just come out with a weird mentality of like, ah, oh, we got this. And then they lost it and then they couldn't get it back. What was your thought about it? And um, we'll talk to you guys shortly. Leafs edition. They're not looking too good against the Capitals. You know, we'll talk to you guys uh, post game there. Blue Jays edition tomorrow night as they're uh, finishing up that nasty two game series against the Orioles. And also Raptors edition. Because they're on the second half, or, uh, well, tonight was the first half of a back-to-back. And they go to play in Detroit, take on the Pistons. Let's get the win and even up that, uh, that, uh, the, the back-to-back. We don't want it. We don't want any of this mess tonight to carry over, all right? So we'll talk to you tonight, uh, to, we'll talk to you guys tomorrow night. <laughs> See you guys.